Hi folks, my name is Arnold Kilaini. I'm going to show you how to generate contours using our application QJS. QJS is an open source application, which is abbreviated as Quantum Geographic Information System. So before I move to the kitchen, we need some spices. But what are the spices are? The requirements, that means we need an app, which is installed already in my PC. Then another thing, we need the DEM. This is abbreviated as Digital Elevation Module 30 meter resolution. Actually, it's downloaded from the SRATM USGS, United States Geological Survey. This is freely available for the world, so you can download it. I'll drop a link also for downloading this application QJS and the DEM. So now, after having these spices in the kitchen, putting them actually together, now we need to know how are we going to cook. That means we need to know the procedures, raster, extraction, then contour. So that means we are required to load our raster in map canvas, then we go to the raster menu here, then extraction, then contour. So let us get our hands on the QJS app. This is the app now after installing 3.0, I have 3.10.1.0. So this is it. So what I'm required is to load the raster layer. So how do I do it? It's just by clicking layer, add layer, add raster layer. There you are, the dialog box opens here. Then this is raster here, then I'm browsing where that particular raster is. This is it. So I'm using for Dar es Salaam because just, this is the one I've downloaded. It's a 30 meter resolution TIFF file. So I'll just click add here, then the, voila like that you see I have it already let me do some visualization you see put some spices put some you know because we are cooking here we're cooking something we're producing controls let me just give it a touch eye-catching look so this is it i'm gonna go for properties then single pseudo color yeah yeah there you are then invite my color ram then okay like that bingo you see now let us Look at the DEM. You see the red here, 269, that means it's highly elevated uh, as you move from the ocean. This is the ocean, I'll show you later. So it's highly elevated this way, it's so greenish. And so what we're going now is to generate contour. So getting back to our slide, this is how we are doing it. So it's either by raster, extraction, then contour. So getting back to our app, that means we go for raster, extraction, then contour. Click like that, simple like that. So input layer is this Dar es Salaam 30 meter, which is here already selected. Interval between control is 10 meter. Attribute name, let us change this to be elevation. Yeah, then push a run button. Leave everything by default, just like that. So let us wait for it because it's, uh, it's extracting for the entire Dar es Salaam from the D DEM. Just give it some time. Voila, like that, task complete. So let us close. We have it already, but wow, somebody must, I'm not seeing anything. Wow, the trick is you just drag and drop here. Like that, we have our contours now. See? Yes. Now we can do the labeling. We can do the labeling. Just click here. Okay, then style, single labels, then put elevation here. There you are. Then put some bold, huh? Yeah, bold. See? We have our elevation, you see here? For instance here, you see, 260. See? As you can see, the contours are very steep here. That means it's highly elevated, you see? And as you go, actually, this is the ocean. Let us see, let us look at something here. Let me drag it here, you see? So you see, as you move from the ocean, 10 meter, you see? Yeah, there you are. Yes, there you are, 10, 10 meter as you go all the, all the way to 260, just like that. So this is the way of just generating a con contours using the DEM. So we use the case study for Dar es Salaam, but this is how, it, how it's done. It's very simple. Now we have finished cooking, but next time, if you want more, more food, actually, because I'll be cooking a lot of food, meals, the barbecues, that means you need to subscribe my channel, please. I'll be grateful for that because I'll be dropping more videos about programming, about QJS, ArcGIS, JS applications, even data analysis, data analytics, all those interesting stuff in the world. So let us support each other, just subscribe, and you won't regret. Thank you.